Don't get life advice from billionaires, but do get financial advice. Just not life advice. They know nothing. They're all, they're basically, I've never met a billionaire that has an interesting life, just to be clear. I mean, they have more interesting than the average person, but I don't find them that interesting. Because to become a multi-billionaire, you pretty much just focus on one of the four pillars of the good life. So, I just want you to know, it's not what you know, because sometimes I tell people, you know, hire an introvert for marketing and an extrovert for sales. They're like, I already knew that. I'm like, I don't give a shit what you know. What have you implemented? Have you ever tested? You got to test. People don't know how to read what an introvert extrovert is. It's a much more advanced test than you think to know a true introvert versus a true extrovert. There's a lot of ambiverts in the world that are confusing to read. You have to be an actual expert. I am a true expert at it, but it took me 10 years, 30,000 hours, and 800,000 quizzes and two mentors that are world-class to become an expert at it. So use my quiz uh, to assess whether somebody's introvert. Now, the other thing to go a little more advanced into personality of hiring is you really got to assess risk tolerance levels. So one of the things that I'm actually pioneering that nobody's ever done, um, I'm, I want to write a paper with Dr. David Bus on this, um, or I have an Oxford professor that I've written a paper before with. People are not assessing risk tolerance. So in my 12 types career quiz, okay, you need the right risk level for each person. So for example, a chief operating officer, you do not want them high risk or low risk. You want them generally to be medium risk. Okay. You, you don't, now your CFO who would be, or your head of accounting, you make sure you have a low risk taker there. Your sales team leader who leads sales, you need high, 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 high risk taker. Now, interestingly enough, for marketing, I think you want a medium risk taker because a high risk taker will spend all your money on one Facebook ad campaign and destroy you. Okay. So business partner, by the way, COOs, this is the most, you need a very intricate evaluation. Now, to be more advanced than this, it depends on your, it depends on your risk tolerance. So I am a medium to high risk taker on a one to a hundred scale on the 12 types quiz. I score around 65, which is moderate high. It's a little above. Okay. So I can go different directions. I've had a business. One of my business partners in my life is extremely high. He's like a 90 out of a hundred. Um, in general, you want your leaders around 20 points away from you. I don't like when they're too far away from you, you'll have too much of a disconnect. So if you score like me, 65, you want somebody no more than 85 and not less than 45, you'll be frustrated in the leadership division 14 in the executive leaders, senior executives, you want them about 20 points away from you. By the way, this is goes for marriage too. marriage. You want 20 to 30 points. When an extremely high risk taking man marries an extremely low risk taking woman, it's problematic. So in general, and by the way, you also need to offset yourself. So you do not want everybody in this senior executive team to be the same risk level as you. You definitely want, like, for example, I am a slightly high risk taker at about 65. My COO is, she's about a 50. So that's a great mix. She's definitely pulls me back from taking too much risk, but she's relative. She's not like super afraid. Okay. Now for a CFO, I think you're okay. You know, sometimes in accounting, you're your bookkeeper. You want to be like a 20 on risk taking, by the way, your bookkeeper should be like the scaredy cat. By the way, I have a bookkeeper. He must be like a 12 on risk taking. Yeah. I've had different, I've had a, accountant was who in hindsight i didn't know how to rip french guy fucking guy re ruined my books took me two years to fix all his stupid accounting this is like way back in like 2011 and looking back the guy was a high risk taker smoking cigarettes all the time people who need to smoke cigarette don't hire somebody who needs stimulus like alcohol i had a i had a cfo one time who 
I had to let him go. He was getting DUIs. You don't, that's a high risk taker. In general, people who are addicted to things are higher on the risk scale. That's not my opinion. You can go to chat GBT and you'll see the correlation. It's not a hundred percent correlation, but it's very related.